Autophagy has been proven to be a beneficial process in the human body, but in particular, a lot of the studies have been shown more how fasting can induce autophagy and not really much else. However, there has been some other recent studies where particular diets can increase autophagy. Then just looking at fasting, there is certain foods and certain herbs that can increase autophagy, and that's what we're going to talk about in this video, so stay tuned. Hey, what's up, fasters? Dr. LeGrand here, here for another fasting video. As always, if you have not subscribed to this channel, hit that subscribe button if you don't want to miss on any other fasting videos that we talk about here on this channel. So let's go ahead and dive in about some particular foods that could particularly increase autophagy. Even though the majority of studies on autophagy for increasing autophagy are heavily focused on fasting, there is particular types of foods and diets that can increase autophagy and its effectiveness. In one particular study, they found that the ketogenic diet can actually potentially help the benefits of increasing autophagy levels. The ketogenic diet is particularly where we really deplete the carbohydrates, increase the healthy fats into our diet. And the thought is behind this is that since you are starving yourself of carbohydrates, depleting one type of nutrient in the body, this can activate states of autophagy. The reason this being is because the human body really does rely a lot on carbohydrates for energy. It is the very first source that we use for energy because of the glucose that we are creating from our carbohydrates. So when we take that out of the picture, and that can be a sense of some nutrient deficiency and where the body has to kind of shift gears to looking at different sources of energy. So this can be a state of increasing autophagy levels for a time being. So particular foods that can be very beneficial for increasing autophagy is, of course, different healthy fats, such as avocados, olive oil, coconut oil, flaxseed oil, a lot of different oils that have like great omega-3s, such as, you know, different fish oils, as well as things such as like high fats of high fat dairy products that can be very beneficial when you're on the ketogenic diet. Now, even the studies that show this we do still have to be careful when it comes to the ketogenic diet because a lot of people do um, do their ketogenic diet differently. But if we heavily focus more on the healthy fats and really depleting the carbohydrates to a very bare minimum, this can still activate levels of autophagy because of the shifting of the energy. But that being said, really, we do know that, you know, some things such as like proteins, if we put too high levels of proteins, this can stop the levels of autophagy. So we still need to be careful there. Now, if it's just predominantly fats, fats are really when it comes to insulin, we see that carbohydrates are the highest that spikes our insulin levels. And then proteins is the next level. But fats is very, very minimal. So if you're on a diet that some people call is fat fasting instead of like a water fast they're doing fat fasting where they're just consuming fats predominantly and this can be certainly a way to activate autophagy now shifting gears a little bit there is some other things besides just changing your diet that can increase your autophagy like certain herbs that can actually increase your autophagy now in a study a group of scientists led by in the Jinshan Hospital affiliated with Fudan University, research determined that curcumin, an active ingredient found in turmeric, actually increased the levels of autophagy. It started to induce it. Not only that, they also found that it was very beneficial towards pancreatic cancer. Along with turmeric, also ginger has about the same effects that turmeric does. So implementing those two things can actually increase autophagy when you start consuming that more in your daily diet. And yet another study scientists found that EGCG, which is an active ingredient fine in green tea, did found to be an active process to make autophagy more effective when we do activate it in our body. But also along with this, even things such as straight up coffee can have the same effects. So doing green tea or straight up coffee, obviously not putting a bunch of fillers in the coffee, but just straight up black coffee can be beneficial of making autophagy be more effective when specifically we're also when we're doing fasting. So if you start doing coffee, you know, before or after your fast, that's a way that you could increase the levels of autophagy. So in summary, 
we could look at that having a predominant diet more in fats and cutting carbs down can start activating the process of autophagy, but certain other herbs and foods such as green tea, black coffee, or even turmeric or ginger, by implementing that in your body can help the effectiveness of autophagy by recycling our cells. So why you know this is all very important is what you're doing in between fasting. Yes, fasting is going to be the predominant way of really activating autophagy and really increasing those levels. But this is something that you could be doing in between so that when you want to really activate the autophagy levels to a higher level, implementing these eating habits as well as implementing these particular herbs into your diet can really make it more effective. So what do you guys think? Is there any other kind of particular foods that you have found that actually increase autophagy? And if you have any questions about it, go ahead and leave that in the comment section below. And as always, give us a big thumbs up, share with your family and friends, subscribe, do all that stuff, check out all these other links that I'll leave here. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Thanks. Bye.